Good morning, everyone. My name is Christine Lalonde, and I'm a Associate Curator of Indigenous Art at the National Gallery of Canada. It's a picture of a freezer. Uh, what could be more everyday and familiar than that? And yet, uh, Annie reminds us that uh, food insecurity is a reality in the North, and yet something that has been unquestionable in the South. The idea of going to a grocery store to pick up a few things has never seemed like a privilege. And uh, now after the experiences that we will have shared around the world, um, I hope that Annie Pudigou's Cape Dorset Freezer will remind us not to take uh, these things for granted. What makes it so meaningful, I think, is that it shows us a view of the North that we haven't seen in the decades previous in Inuit uh, prints and drawings by elder artists and the established artists of the 70s and 80s. Um, Annie shows us um, in a very personal and brave and intimate way what life is like for her and her community members. Um, and it's both um, familiar in that uh, in Cape Dorset Freezer we see foods we all recognize, hungry man meals, uh, pizzas, uh, and some things that we don't, pilot biscuits, which are a personal favorite and only available in the Arctic. She does a lot to dispel this stereotypes of Inuit um, that are tied to more of a distant uh, lifestyle in the past. And um, while it's familiar and everyday, um, it's not to say that it's the same. Um, she normalizes uh, what life is like in the North and presents it to us in a very um, fresh way. We see a woman in a Mauti as well as other people wearing uh, mountain equipment co-op uh, parkas, for example. I think what made Annie Pudigo so special too is she did what people didn't expect Inuit artists to do. She drew a scene of her own experience from life in the north. She drew from photographs um, and she also drew in situ. One of the things she told me she was really help, happy about and that she really challenged herself to do as an artist was to uh, include the reflections of people in the glass. Hope to see you soon.